Six, a 911 call is giving us insight into a scary chase involving two young girls. I need somebody to come get him off of our door. Is he at your door? Him. Yes, he's trying to come get us. The Asheboro girls say a man chased them all the way to a family member's house. The grandmother of one of the girls told WFMY News 2's Amber Lake the man tried getting in through both doors of the home. Amber, let's first start off with, are the girls okay today? Julie, the girls are okay, but obviously traumatized by everything that happened Friday. They told me that they were in this piece of grass right beside their grandmother's home Friday morning. That's whenever they had to quickly run to that side door that you see right there. That's because a man was chasing them, and it wasn't long after they locked the door from inside that he tried to get in. He was determined to get in. A scary situation in Asheboro. They were scared to death, and I was scared to death. Could have been much worse. I said, he's going to come in, and I, he'll probably uh, hurt all of us. We ran in the room, we locked the door, and then I came out. I didn't want to get too close to the window because I thought he would probably break it. Ashboro police responded to an attempted breaking and entering call on English Street just after 6 a.m. Friday morning. When they arrived, they learned that the man trying to get into a home also came after two young girls playing outside. He got out of his car. He said, shouldn't y'all be in school? And she, they said, no, school's out. The grandmother of one of the girls says the two saw a gun in the man's car and started running back to her house. That's when Emily Beasley says he started to chase them. I was in front of her. Um, she, I ran in the house first, and then she ran and locked the door. And then as soon as we locked the door, he started banging on the door. And turning the doorknobs. The grandmother says the man tried the side door before going around to the front. He would break them doorknobs. He was trying to. Now the entire family is scared that the man's going to come back, including the two girls. My daughter probably wouldn't be here today, nor her friend, because he had, I don't think he had, I'm sure he didn't have any good intention. Ashboro police are looking for the man responsible. They believe that he was driving a light colored car with tinted windows, possibly a Honda or a Toyota. Live in Ashboro, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.